Uh, one person I've not given many updates about at all in the last couple weeks. In fact, I think the last thing I said about him was that he hasn't tweeted or done anything in like a month. It's come out of nowhere to complain about shit. Uh, Nick Ricada is back on Twitter and he left a couple suspect messages out of the blue in this uh, tweet chain. K. Mary says, do your kids love life when they're dirty, smelly, hungry, and begging for food and attention at school and church? Uh, Ricada Law says they never were. Uh, LJ's Piker says, and you never did coke. And Ricada Law says, I did a fucking mountain of coke. Lord Bother of Memes a Lot says, the dude who made that status sounds like he was on cocaine. Ricada Law says he was. And that's in response um, to a different message. Hmm. Well, this is what I wanted to read. It was uh, another message that he made out of the blue. Sorry, I got this a little bit. Uh... Oh, I had it backwards. I'm fucking. Um. So Sean was talking about him in a chat and Ricardo Law posted this and deleted it so quickly that nobody could make a third party archive of it. But it says LawTube Sean poses as fake Ricardo Law in Aaron's chat to try and generate revenue for both of them. Embarrassing. And um the issue was is that Ricardo's YouTube account because he he left chat messages in a in a in a YouTube chat system, and Sean was making fun of it, and Ricada posted this and then deleted it so quickly that nobody could really could archive it. But the issue is is that he has a verified channel, so when he posts chat messages as Ricada Law, it's not just Ricada Law with the logo anonymous on the chat, it's Ricada Law with the verification check mark. So. They know it's him. They know it's him because he's verified, and the verification message shows up alongside chat messages. So that's probably why he deleted it. Um, there's something I had saw, and I'll, if I can't find it, I'll try to go hunt it down on his Twitter account, because I think that this is what he's replying to. Uh, Kobe Lee says, in addition to your own children, you nearly dosed Imhotep's kids with cocaine as well. How fucking crazy is that? Riketa says, uh, this never happened. I think Imhotep is uh, Aaron Imhalta. Typical manga fan says, you didn't, but you called people who thought you were going to lose that motion retarded, which gave them the impression that you were at the very least confident about it. So it was the judge retarded too. Riketa replies to this and says, the people I called retarded are... The people I called are retarded because they are excellent sentence structure very well spoken that doesn't mean i said i would win an extremely difficult pre-trial motion i also 100 percent believe i should have been granted a hearing on it and i believe it's insane how difficult it is to get them what about everything else that you waived <laughs> I, I don't think he's even filed an appeal for that yet so i don't know if he's going to appeal it or if he's like out of money or what Ted Bizongo says, Nick, I hope you are clean, bud. Those drunk streams were hard to watch. Ricada says, I am clean, and they sure were. Ricada says, I called them retarded because of their takes on the government's claim of watching my video. Something that isn't that it still hasn't done, and they actually lied to the court about. So he's still accusing everybody of lying about him in court. Um, and he has changed, uh, trying to change reality, even though it's very fucking obvious what he was saying before. Um, he was very explicit about it. And he even mentioned the fact that he had won a Frank's hearing uh, in his own practice. So, uh, yeah, that's a lie. Uh, which, regardless of the outcome, should bother everyone that the government was able to claim to the judge without presenting evidence that they provided me a copy of my video when, in fact, they have not. It doesn't. <laughs> like, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, and even I'm looking at this like, and archiving is like my whole fucking deal, bro. Keeping archives of shit up, fighting, literally fighting in fucking courts for four years about our right to archive and how archives are important to the, the, the ability, the, the fundamental ability for one to even form a critical opinion of something is imbued in the archive itself. Like, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't empathize at all. 
Valeriano Mora says, now we should trust social workers. Ricardo Law says, I said ask. I wouldn't be hesitant to use the word trust for a social worker. Or I would be. Uh, Miss Largebrain says, social worker is probably better than the parole officer and child protective services caseworker. Ricardo says, maybe on the first, but the, actual, the second actually is a social worker. He says, I never had cocaine out for his kids to do. How could I even have cocaine for them to eat OD on? Oh, good question. The government literally hasn't watched my video. They claim the government has. That's retarded. The government watching or not watching my video doesn't mean that I will or won't win a motion for Frank's hearing. Why is that hard for you? Uh, I mean, the judge said he watched it. <laughs> he's, he's still trying to say that the video was like heavily edited or something. I don't know. It's so sad. Um... Okay, no, we're saving that. There's a thing that I saw. Let me pull up Zitter myself and see if I can find it real quick. Oh, dilly down, down wait for. But he hasn't blocked me yet. Ah, here we go. Um, so Riketa on New Year's Eve, 2023, says, "Happy New Year's Eve, everyone." 2024 promises to be a beautiful disaster. Don't make resolutions. Set goals. Pursue life. Be ridiculous. Find joy. Life is a current. Ride with it or swim your own way. Just choose consciously. I'll be seeing you all there. Peace. Riketa has replied to this on October 20th and said, Lamau, fuck this tweet and the dumbass who wrote it. And I bring this up because I remember seeing it, and I think that the guy said, the guy that wrote that tweet sounds like he did a mountain of coke. Um, <laughs> oh, he's like molding about Aaron and shit. I didn't even notice this. Okay, Melton, we're going to... He's defending Melton, um, and I'm going to get to that here in just a second. The... Um... There's a very particular tweet that I want to find it. Just real quick, let me scroll. Because he started making comments about... Um, his girlfriend. Were these deleted, I wonder? He made two different comments... And I can't find them at this point. Oh my God, so many fucking tweets where he's just like trying to convince people that he's not a complete retard. It's so tiring. I need fucking energy for this. Maybe it's on my phone. Give me a second. Sorry, I'm really sorry, but these uh, the things that I'm looking for, like the I would hate to have to just paraphrase them. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, Tabernacle McGee said, Nick, the internet is the uppercase I internet is tr praying that you win 2025 and are able to make t a two wife family the standard for men to strive for. Riketa Lal then replies and says, Trust me, you don't want it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.